Hello and welcome back to our devotion. Uh, today is November 30th, 2020. I'm so happy that you joined me. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, Advent and what is Advent and what does it mean? Uh, we hear about it every year, but sometimes uh, maybe we forget about the meaning of Advent and uh, why we do this thing called Advent um, since we are in this season of Advent. Our um, text will come from Psalm 64. I'll read the chapter. Uh, excuse me, not Psalm 64, Isaiah 64. Our psalm will be from Psalm 80, uh, verses 1 through 7. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who led Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord, God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us an object of contention for our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine, that we may be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our text is from Isaiah chapter 64. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains might quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brush brushwood and fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, and that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome things that we did not look for, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From of old, no one has heard or perceived by the ear. No eye has seen a God besides you who acts for those who wait for him. You meet him who joyfully works righteousness, those who remember you in your ways. Behold, you were angry, and we sinned. In our sins we have been a long time, and, we, and shall we be saved? We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us, and have made us melt in the hand of, your, of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are the potter. We are the work of your hand. Be not so terribly angry, O Lord, and remember not iniquity forever. Behold, please look, we are, your we are all your people. Your holy cities have become a wilderness. Zion has become a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and beautiful house, where our fathers praise you, has been burned by fire, and all our pleasant places have become ruins. Will you restrain yourself at these things, O Lord? Will you keep silent and afflict us so terribly? This is the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. That was Isaiah's prayer in our text. In the church's season called Advent, we remember and we prepare for God to do just that, to rend the heavens and come down. The church divides the year into two different seasons that emphasize the life of Christ and the life of the church. Beginning this this um, past Sunday on November 29, 2020, 
we entered the season of the church here called Advent. Advent is really a season of preparation and anticipation, leading up to Christmas and continuing through to Epiphany on January 6, 2021. The focus of Advent is really twofold. On the one hand, we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who rendered rend the heavens and came down. And he came as both God and man, two natures in one Christ, so that our sins may be forgiven. On the other hand, we anticipate the day when Jesus will return again to earth and bring an end to this world. Many view this end to be scary, but as Christians, we can look forward to the end of the world with hope, because through faith in Jesus, the end of this world will mean the beginning of new life with Christ for all eternity. Advent, then, is really a time for us to repent, to believe, and to prepare. Knowing that Jesus was born to forgive our sins, we admit our failures to God. We believe that we are forgiven because of Jesus' sacrifice, and we prepare to meet our Savior, who will return to give us life everlasting. And so that's really what Advent is all about. It's a time of repentance, a time of faith, and a time of preparation as we get ready for the coming of our Savior for the first time in a manger and for the second time at the end of time. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Would you join with me now in praying the prayer our Lord taught us? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. I hope this devotion finds you well, and I hope that you are had a good weekend, a relaxing weekend. And until next time, the Lord be with you. <music>